joining us for our word today. This morning as we're continuing through the Bible, we're going to look at 1 Chronicles chapter 28. Uh, in this chapter, King David is coming towards the end of his life. He knows that his rule over Israel is coming to an end. He begins to transition into Solomon as the next king. God has told him that Solomon will be the next king. And David wants to prepare Solomon for the incredible task of leading the nation of Israel. So look what he says in verse number 9. And now, Solomon, my son, know thou the God of thy father, and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts, and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. David understood that the greatest need Solomon had to rule the nation well wasn't a mighty army, it wasn't a great council of elders. What he needed more than anything else was a relationship with God. So he tells Solomon, Solomon, if you're going to be a successful king in the eyes of God, if you're going to be a king that leads Israel to its next stage of, of following God, you have to know God and walk with God and love God and serve God. It reminds me of what Jesus says in the New Testament when he's asked what the, the greatest or what the most important commandment is. He says to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. Our greatest need in this life is to know God, is to walk with God is to fellowship with God. And David gives us a great promise here. He goes, if you seek Him, you're going to find Him. If you look for God, you're going to find God. If you walk with God, He's going to walk with you. Now, we live in a very chaotic life, very chaotic society, and, and honestly, we all have a lot of needs. We, we, need, we need money. We need shelter. We need food. We need help with our relationships. We, we need all these things, but the greatest need we have is to know God and to walk with God. And if we if we have that taken care of, if we know God and we're pursuing God and we're worshiping God and we're reading His Word and praying to Him and we know God, then God will take care of the rest. He'll give us the wisdom to handle everything else. Thanks so much for joining us for our Word of the Day. Be sure to be back here tomorrow as we continue through the Bible. Have a blessed day.